I'm back with another page kit share. This one is, I'm going to do a Christmas kind of layout. You can see that my little guy is reading, well, he's pointing at the words on here. Um, I've already come up with a title idea uh, and that's kind of where I'll be starting this. But so that's my photo. This is all I've got for embellishments. So I've got some fancy pants um, labels and these stickers from Maggie Holmes. I have a bunch of alphas to choose from. So these little red ones, white foam and gold. Oh no, I've only got three. And then I've got these scraps of paper to play with. Now there's no, this is my full background. Uh, there's no red on here, but when I put this red with it, I'm quite happy with that match. And I think in little bits, then it will be okay. I can pull that in. So that's where I'm starting. I'm going to start by building my title and then I'll pop you on fast forward and we'll see where this page ends up. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I am back and you can see that first up I am going to build my title. My title reads, Not Just for Decoration. I love these, um, I think they're called Abigail Alphabets by Jilly Bean Soup. I have them in gold and white. I think that's all the colours, but I want them in all the colours. So you can see um, I've popped my title onto some, um, I think it's freezer paper. I found that it sticks enough that it stays stuck, whereas with like baking paper or that kind of stuff, the letters don't stay stuck to it, which is really frustrating. Um, so I'm going to use some of these papers to match my photo. I just wrote the date on the back of my background paper there and I started with this really dark it's a really pretty red color I think it's I think and if you're a Stampin' Up person you may be able to correct me I think it's uh, cherry cobbler which is a beautiful color I love it um, so I've just matted that around my photo uh, and I matted it only on the right hand side I felt that with his this sounds really silly but with the dark of his hair on the left hand side then the red kind of balanced off on the right hand side. Uh, this is a Maggie Holmes paper that I'm using underneath that. I'm using the green side. Decided to pull in a doily and this beautiful craft with gold stars. This is a Studio Calico paper from I think it's the Magical Collection and I originally start with a I think it's a four inch strip thinking I might do like a one third kind of layout and you can see here I'm tossing up on how I'm going to make this work and I'm not loving the combination here of I love that pattern paper I've got in the background I really really love it but I was just like I'm not loving this so let me pull in some white and see how I can make that work decide straight away to cut that down to three inches instead of four and I decided I was going to give it a banner end. Um, this paper is quite thick, so I just spritzed the end a little bit so that it was easier to roll the paper without a really obvious crease in it so that I could cut my little banner. This is how I like to cut mine. I like them to be even, and I found that this is the best way for me to get them even. Um, so this idea... I'm really happy with so far, so I'm going to run with that. I'm going to cut myself a couple more banners here. One from that Maggie Holmes pattern paper. And then one from this leftover red as well. Tried to incorporate that green and I just wasn't happy with how it was looking. Um, maybe it was because it was a four, but I don't know. Um, I decide that I'm going to do my banners and essentially string them from the top of the page. So I've cut about an inch and a half off of that red one so that I can pop that up the top. And you can see I'm finally feeling like I'm getting a bit of a groove happening here. I wanted to bring in a doily, just something different to those really harsh edges. And you can see I'm just playing with the placement here, not sure what I'm going to do. Wasn't sure if I was going to do any mixed media here or not. And here I think is where my idea 
really starts to come together. So you watch me muck around with all my layers here for a little while. I have left it in. This whole video I think is four times sped up. Because uh, I did want to leave it all in just to show you that it's not always easy for me. Now I was being really particular with that red. I didn't want the mat behind the photo where the red is to line up with the banner exactly on the left hand side. So you'll see that I move it a smidge here and a smidge that way and until I get it in just the right place. You can see I'm still playing with that idea of the title and then I really like the placement of it up there on the left hand side. So that's where I'm going to run with it. I got sick of pushing things around so I turned my camera off. You can see I've added a couple of layers behind my photos, a couple of tabs and a tag. Um, I've got a container that I keep all random bits and pieces in it and it had some of those like, green, um, it was actually like a fancy label shape, um, another Maggie Holmes product but the green matched really well to what I already had happening so I cut that into pieces and I'm going to use that in a couple of places and then I was like yep I'm going to do some mixed media. White gesso, no clear gesso and I've just put that where I want my mixed media to go, um, give it a bit of a dry with the heat gun I just want to make sure it's completely dry before I do some stamping using my black Versafine ink here and this is a Carabelle Studio stamp with lots of little stars on it um, I did pull out my Christmas stash and then I kind of went oh it's not really Christmas but it's kind of Christmas so I've kind of incorporated the red and the green uh, and haven't made it completely Christmas so over the top of where I've done that stamping, I'm going to add my mixed media. I pulled out my little sample book um, and I am using two Heidi Swap uh, colour shines. One is Patina and one is Seafoam and the colours are fairly close together but the Seafoam just gives a bit of difference in the colour. You can see I'm just spraying that straight onto some packaging flipping that over and adding water when necessary. I'm going to come in with some splatters of both colours in those three areas. Green is not normally my go-to but I really like how this page came together in the end. Um, and of course I've got the gold happening in that pattern paper so I have to bring more in. Um, I just got gold colour shine you can see along the left hand side I have added in some more of the green mixed media. Now you can see here that I'm trimming the um, banners. I've gone and done some stitching. I've done some stitching on around the edge of those three banner pieces and also around the edge of my photo. Now my phone for whatever reason would not focus. I did show you close-ups but they were completely blurry. You couldn't see anything anyway so I just chopped that out. Um, but I have stitched around the edges of all of those bits and around the photo. Adding my layers here, just using some regular old sticky tape to tape the um, loose threads down at the back and I don't want to move everything so I'm going to carefully lift things up and stick things down. Just using my ATG which is giving me grief here. I don't know what happened um, but you see me try to use it again. Um, it had, it wasn't unwinding properly so I've, I have actually filmed my process of me fixing it um, but I edited that out because it's not very exciting to watch. Um, yeah for some reason it wasn't unrolling properly. I don't know what I did but it's working again now. So I'm just attaching all my layers here. Making sure that I've got the um, placement just how I like it. Got half a doily down, I'm going to pop the other half down as well. Being very particular about exactly where that doily is. It's okay, I'm allowed. Cardboard behind my photo. This was before I got my 40% off voucher and bought some foam.
sticking all that down. Um, my title, I think I sit down next. Yes, I do. Um, again, I don't make you watch all that because it is not very exciting. Uh, you saw earlier that I had started something on the bottom right hand side. I knew I wanted something to balance that off there. And I immediately thought to start with that I wanted to go on the vertical because I've got the title on the vertical. Yeah, it is vertical. Yes, that's vertical. Um, but I don't like the way it looks on the right hand side on the vertical. So I do end up switching it around. And I really like how this looks. So I've bought in some of that red pattern paper. I've bought in another one of those edges from that die cut. I've bought in some of that gold, a uh, big H from the alphabet, uh, and one of those labels from the Fence Pants labels pack. This is a bow from Rainbow Splendor, I think. And uh, I had the Maggie Home sticker sheet. Now, there is, flowers have nothing to do with this page, but I really liked the colour pop that it gave here and I really like the point of difference the shape it's more organic um, it's less straight lines and pointy banners and I just really like the way that it looks there tell me would you all put it there being the only flower on the page um, my husband kind of went why is there a flower there and I went because I like it so tell me what you think uh, I'm just trimming off the extra bits <clears throat> um, and because I just added some more adhesive to the top there because I don't want that to move. Remembering to, covering, to cover my photo, I'm getting better at that. And I'm going to add some more gold mist over the top there. Uh, mostly to give a bit of a contrast to that red, actually. And here are the close-ups. I've added a little bit of journaling on the right-hand side to those labels. Uh, I do apologise if you can hear my children. They are building Lego together. Apparently that's a good idea this afternoon. Um, yeah, so I decorated this box myself and Hunter sat and he was sanding out the letters. Santa! Uh, Santa! Um, this was in 2016, I think. or No, 2017. So he was only five and I'll, I was really impressed, but that's okay. So that is my next chair for my page kit series. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, leave me leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I will be back again very soon with another share. Thanks for stopping by.